The treatment process begins when the reaction tank is filled with wastewater. When the tank is full, the mixing turbine is started and RM10 is added. This is after the treatment fill and it added the uh, RM10 plate. You can see the flock forming in the, uh, in the wastewater right now. As the chemistry enters the agitating wastewater, a large flock can be seen forming. The mixing process continues for three to five minutes. When the reaction is finished, the mixer is stopped and the sludge is allowed to settle to the bottom of the tank. After the solids have settled, the clean water valve is opened. Treated water passes through the filter media on the conveyor and into the clean water tank. The filtered water can then be discharged directly into the sewer system or reused in other applications. After the clean water is emptied, the sludge discharge valve is opened. The sludge falls onto the filter media where it dewaters by gravity to approximately 25% solids. The solids laden filter media then passes under rollers that squeeze out any excess water. Both the solids and the filter media fall into the sludge hopper and are disposed of. The entire micro-encapsulation process is completed in just minutes with a single chemical treatment. This is the most economical and effective means of wastewater treatment ever offered. There are thousands of these systems in operation throughout the world, treating most every type of waste stream imaginable.